I'm Ashley Weston. All right, so the first men's accessory that women hate has got to be those big, thick, gross, leather bracelets. They're one of those items that make you look like you're trying to be cool. And I'm sorry to say it, but you're failing miserably. Leather bracelets ultimately make your wrist look super bulky and awkward. And let's face it, not many guys can pull off the rocker vibe usually associated with this particular type of accessory. Also, I mean, it's outdated, dusty, and lame. Now, when it comes to men's jewelry, less is always more. So instead of going for chunky statement pieces like thick leather bracelets, opt for a more refined option, like a minimal cuff or if in doubt, a nice watch. Now, women love a guy with a nice watch. Speaking of watches, fellas, if you wanna stand a chance with the ladies this year, then it's time to ditch that oversized, overly flashy wristwatch because trust me, it's not doing you any favors. Although we certainly appreciate a man who cares about his appearance and wears a watch with his outfits, if you're going to wear one that's big or clunky, like a G-Shock, then you might as well not wear one at all. Now let's face it, no woman wants to be seen with a guy who's still rocking a watch that makes him look like he's stuck in 2008. Also, smartwatches. They may be handy when it comes to logging your steps, but they're basically impossible to make look good. Now, a watch should ultimately be thought of as an understated accessory that complements your overall look, not a flashy statement piece that distracts from it. Just pick something simple and not overly eye-catching and you're on the right track. Next up, you probably saw this one coming. It's time to talk about those belt buckles. Flashy or big old belt buckles are just one of those accessories that men like because now this is what I'm thinking. It makes them look manly and cool, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Women don't really like these things. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that wearing one can actually be a bit of a deal breaker with most women. And the reason why is that they look just super tacky and like you're trying a bit too hard to impress other people. I mean, if you're not an actual cowboy or dressing up as Woody for Halloween, why are you wearing one of these things anyways? My biggest piece of advice is to just go for a timeless, understated, casual leather belt in either dark brown or black, and this will be more than enough to break up your top and bottom halves and keep you looking good. But what about equipping yourself with some high quality men's accessories that the ladies will surely love? Well, that's where today's sponsor, Beanie Under, comes in. Guys, Beanie Under offers a selection of stylish products designed to keep you looking good as the weather starts to warm up. And my two personal favorites are their slimline sunglasses and breathable baseball cap. Offering dual UV 400 protection, the slimline sunglasses are designed to effectively block 99% of UV rays with a design that works for all face shapes. These shades are extremely lightweight, weighing only 25 grams, but are crafted from a durable metal, but surprisingly flexible. One of my favorite things about these sunglasses is that they can fold up to a super small size, making them really easy to carry around. Also, they come in four different colors, gray, moss green, forest green, and classic black, which is, I mean, my personal favorite. And what goes better with a pair of shades than a good baseball cap? Crafted from lightweight and breathable fabrics, the Beanie Under baseball cap is also designed to protect you from the sun's harmful rays. Available in a selection of stylish colors, it has a classic look that will work seamlessly with your more casual, warm weathered outfits. As well as offering free shipping and free taxes on all worldwide orders, Beanie Under is offering my viewers an exclusive discount, which you can find along with the link down in the description box. Thanks Beanie Under for sponsoring this video. And now back to our list of the worst men's accessory mistakes. Speaking of items that make you look like you're trying too hard, guys, this should go without saying, but no more bad jewelry, okay? Trust me, as someone who knows a thing or two about what women find attractive, let me be the first to tell you that women do notice these things, even if we don't always say anything. First of all, cheap jewelry always looks, well, cheap. And when it comes to making a good impression on a potential, you know, love interest, you wanna look your best. 
not like you're trying to pass off a knockoff as the real thing. Also, unless you're actually on a yoga retreat in Bali, please ditch the woven Viking bracelets and puka shells. These accessories might seem like they're adding to your overall look, but they're actually just turning women off. Stick to simple classic pieces that complement your outfit and surroundings and you'll be sure to make a good impression. So I get it, sometimes you just don't have time or energy to style your hair and you need to throw on a baseball cap to keep your luscious locks in check. However, this does not mean you should ever opt for an overly ornate cap or trucker hat featuring flashy graphics or childish designs. Now wearing a statement headpiece is one of those moves that just makes you look like an overgrown kid. And in case you haven't noticed, that's not really what we're about here. Now, if you're at a sports event and want to rep your team, then by all means, wear a logo cap. But in any other scenario, make sure that you go for a plain logo-free baseball cap in a solid color. And while we're on the subject, let's make sure that you adhere to the following baseball cap rules. No pairing caps with smart casual looks or formal wear, no wearing them backwards or to the side, and no wearing them 24 hours a day. Next up, when it comes to a man's appearance, few things drive women as crazy, and not in a good way, as seeing a wallet that's outdated, beat up, or overstuffed with crap. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the big deal? It's just a wallet, right? Wrong. A man's wallet is so much more than just a simple vessel for his cash and cards. It's ultimately a reflection of his style, his organizational skills, and even his sense of personal hygiene. No woman wants to be seen with a man whose wallet is falling apart as it shows that he doesn't pay attention to the little details. Also, if it's stuffed with receipts, business cards, and old pictures, this is a pretty big red flag that you're a disorganized man. And the last thing a woman wants is a disorganized man. If in doubt, go with a slim and minimal wallet like a bifold or a card case, and this small move will make a huge difference to your overall look. Now, as a style savvy individual, you already know that the right accessories can make or break your look. And as we move further into 2023, there's one item that you just can't get away with anymore, sports sunglasses. Sure, these may be perfect for hitting the trails or the tennis courts, but when it comes to trying to wear them as part of your everyday look, they're pretty much impossible to pull off. For starters, they tend to have a super bulky look, making them a far cry from the classic frames out there like Wayfarers or Clubmasters. Also, they're practically impossible to pair with any outfit that's not a pair of gym shorts and a running t-shirt. Listen up, fellas, if you want to up your game with the ladies this year, it's time to ditch those sports sunglasses in favor of a more timeless and stylish pair. I know they're comfortable and functional, but let's be real, they make you look like a total dweeb. Next up, shoelaces. Now, you may not think that your shoelaces are a big deal, but they really have the power to ultimately make or break your overall look. And unfortunately, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a perfectly stylish outfit just ruined by some dirty, ratty, or frayed shoelaces. First of all, you always want your shoelaces to be clean. There's no point in wearing a pair of spotless kicks if you're going to be wearing them with some stained and dirty laces. Next, please, please make sure your shoelaces are in good condition. Women will always notice if they're frayed or falling apart, and if you have to buy a new pair, then it really is a small price to pay. And if your laces are overly long or look like a big pair of bunny ears when tied, then you might wanna consider tucking them into your shoes or going for a pair of no-tie straight laces for a guaranteed sleek and stylish look every time. Now, in our modern world, our phones are practically an extension of our bodies, and as they're always with us, it's actually so important to pay attention to your choice of phone case. So let's talk about how to get your phone case right. First of all, ditch the extremely bulky cases. They're not only unfashionable, but they're also a hassle to carry around. No one wants to be weighed down by a phone the size of a small suitcase. So instead, opt for a slim, sleek case that will fit your phone perfectly and doesn't add any unnecessary bulk. Also, make sure that it's in good condition. Now, if your phone case is stained, scratched, or scuffed, then it's time to upgrade. Not only is it unsightly, but it also shows that you don't take care of your belongings, and trust me, women will notice it. Okay, so I couldn't do a video on men's accessories that women hate without mentioning cologne. Now, I've mentioned in the past that I'm not a fan of cologne in general, but if you really want to wear it, then you should understand that there's a fine line between wearing just enough and wearing too much. 
and unfortunately, a lot of men seem to be crossing the line on a daily basis. Now, wearing too much cologne is a red flag for a woman for a number of reasons. First of all, it's just really distracting. I mean, how do you expect us to take you seriously if you smell like you just emptied the entire bottle on yourself? Secondly, it shows that you're trying too hard and that you really want us to notice you. We should be taken in by your stylish appearance, your confident body language, not your off-putting and overpowering fragrance. And finally, it ultimately looks like you're trying to cover up something or compensate for something like a lack of personal hygiene, which believe me, never a good look. One spray away from yourself and walk into it. Simple, like every accessory should be. That's it for this video, guys. Anything you think I've missed, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Until next time, bye.